Hello, hello. A long time no video, so I thought I'd catch up and show you what I'm currently using and preparing for 2022. Uh, plans have changed several times. Um, I think everyone is in the same position currently. But let's see what works at the moment. Um, I also got my pen case regarding several requests uh, for me to show what I have currently inked and what I'm using regarding fountain pens, so we'll take a look at that also. But let's start with uh, something that has been working for me the entire 2021 and uh, absolutely loving it and will be continuing in the next year also. It's the Jibun Techo Planner. Uh, I uh, love and uh, feel most comfortable in using the weekly layout. So it's B6 Slim. Uh, every spread has a week in a vertical layout. So as you can see, you have your days of the week, hours and uh, some space on the side for to-do lists, for notes, for tracking. You can find a lot of examples online uh, of the layout and how you can utilize it. Uh, I must say I'm not using it to its full capabilities because um, I am completely ignoring the front pages which are the uh, multiple charts, logging possibilities and um, well the monthlies also it's all blank in my case because I, I simply can't find a use and also time to dedicate to those pages but I am using the weeks the weeks is the main attraction here so as you can see well this is this week unfinished but as you can see I am uh, mostly using it for some kind of logging on what happens each day appointments but it's mostly journaling mostly thoughts sometimes I even catch up at the end of the week and just fill in the entire spread with what's been going on. So I think I filmed a flip through not so long ago, so you can maybe have a more detailed view on the older pages, but these are the last couple of weeks. So uh, my style is colorful and bright and cheerful and that's just how I enjoy my pages so this is uh, last week and I'm this is something that makes me happy you see all the colors um, maybe some collaging these are the some principles from um, Courtney Diaz I finally became her patron on Patreon and I am thoroughly enjoying all the goodies and printables and content on there. So highly recommend. Uh, as you can see, she has taken over, over my pages completely. So that's the Jibun. Uh, if you're interested in using this type of journal planner for next year, they are, uh, as far as I know, they are still available for order over at Cafe Analog. So take a look. Um, the question I get a lot is Discover. This one is not available on Cafe Analog, but it is available through Baumkuchen. So take a look at their website. They have uh, several sizes available and colors also. This is the nude, but as you can see, it has patinaed. It's a lot darker than it has started. So uh, there's even a stain. This is actually for me eating a cherry tomato on my desk and uh, I popped it and it kind of flew all over the desk. So it's a cherry tomato juice stain. So that's the Jibun. Uh, next, what I'm using for work. Uh, I have been using I had the second half of the year in a Hobonichi AVEC A6 and that has been great except the, the writing space on the page was a bit small but it worked. Um, I wanted to continue that for next year 
but I didn't want to uh, commit to the dates because I was not using it daily. I don't have this need to write every day uh, regarding my work obligations, but I do have the need to write occasional notes. So that's why I switched over to using a uh, Stalogy. Uh, this is a Stalogy in A6 and it's a pretty thick notebook. This should last me several years, I think. Um, so uh, the the notebook is the same size as the Hobonichi. It's maybe a little bit thicker than the whole year Hobonichi Techo. And um, I think it's gonna work, but I'm not uh, completely happy with it. I'll tell you what I mean. So uh, the Stalogy has this one thing that sold me on it and it's See this little faint, faint, faint uh, markings here? This is a time grid and it starts at 8 a.m. Uh, I actually start work before 8 a.m. So that's one thing, but okay, I can shift it here. Uh, also, these are the names of the months, the name of the day and uh, the number, the day of the month. And that's okay. Also, it's very faint. You can mark it here. But I want to see, uh, I want to boldly see the date I'm writing this on, so I just write it in here by, in pen. And the other thing is, uh, this is kind of like Tomoe River paper, but it's not. I, I'm not sure. Maybe it is, but it's thicker. And I don't have that Tomoe River paper feel because I'm a paper snob and that bothers me. My fountain pens don't behave the same as on Hobonichi tomorrow river paper and okay i'll get used to it i don't have to make such a big fuss it's a work planner but just so you know if you're a paper uh, lover and you appreciate the quality of the hobonichi paper keep that in mind this is not the same experience you will not have the same experience and you will not have the same grid as the japanese version of the hobonichi planner this is a five millimeter grid it's uh i know it doesn't seem like a big difference uh, 0 0.38 or 0 0.5 millimeter but it is especially if you have we say uh, in Croatia grief if you have this um, motion in your hand and you're writing in a certain style and certain letters and you're used to a smaller grid uh, and writing smaller this will um, kind of knock you off of that trail and you will have to adapt I, I did. Uh, I have written a couple of pages. Um, I, I can't show them because they're confidential, but it's not the same experience. And I have been thinking about ditching this or repurposing it or gifting it because it, it has three pages in the front for now. Uh, and buying uh, Hobonichi Techo for the four, full year, but I I can't justify uh, buying another notebook because I have this one and it will work. And uh, with the Hobonichi Techo, the dates are there. So there's the notebook, of course, but it doesn't have the timeline and I will have to draw it out. And yeah, so uh, first world problems, no biggie. Um, this is the work stuff. And regarding personal, uh, for next year I will be continuing with the Jibun. I don't have it yet with me. It's still over at Cafe Analog in my rental box. So I can't show that, but um, I will be using the Jibun. I will be using the weeks. Uh, the weeks will be for personal uh, journaling and... Um, Gratitude, gratitude journaling and some other personal stuff. I have uh, started to use it even now. So not the weekly pages. So this is just what I've set up until now. As you can see, Courtney Diaz is going strong. And also, I love this little dog. It's also by Baum Kuhen. Um, so I'm not using the monthly or the weeklies yet, of course, because uh, December is in, what, two weeks or something. But I have uh, started to use uh, the note pages in the back. And um, I have been kind of going strong. I'm not sure if I should have invested in a mega 
uh, but I don't know, I can over take the spillover into some other no notebook or the G-Bone or whatever, but it will work. So this is what's currently going on, it's just some personal uh, writing. Uh, so that's uh, the weeks and I'm, I'm sure I won't be using the monthly because I won't need it and uh, weekly pages. My plan is to use it for uh, gratitude or daily reflection or something like that. This was initially planned to be for work, but of course I have realized I'm being silly and that's gonna be entirely too small and I would have to write really, really tiny. So I ditched that idea and I'm more happy with this choice. Uh, regarding next year, what else? There's gonna be a five-year techo. And that's gonna be for my son, daily snippet. So there's nothing much to show there except, let me get the, the book. So this is the book. And this is uh, for anyone who's not familiar with the five-year techo, it looks like this. And it has uh, simply the day of the year. And this is the next day of the year. And what's the best thing you get when it's all filled out after five years, hopefully. You get a consecutive view of that same exact day, August the 3rd, on every year in this five-year spread. So. That's uh, that's what I'm looking forward to because my son is four and a half now and in five years he will already be in school and so much will change. He is developing so fast now and uh, I want to keep some memories and uh, later on give him the book like something for memory keeping. Let's see. Okay, that's the five year. Uh, I think I covered all the dated stuff. Um, so there's work, there's personal. Uh, I think I won't be able to share much of this online uh, or on Instagram because it's mostly personal. And this is of course the Jibun for the weeks. And I have a bunch of travelers notebooks and inserts and different kind of sizes of uh, sketchbooks going on but they are all undated and I just use them for certain projects and when I feel like it so there's a whole nother topic a whole nother video and I can talk about it at some other time and uh, what I have currently inked uh, this is kind of a newer setup it's a superior labor um, zipped pen case it's black and uh, I had this amazing luck uh, to get it from a wonderful lady at a buy sell trade uh, group. Uh, she was letting it go in brand new condition. It was actually packed in a box, never opened or anything. She just took the photos. And the price was right and I didn't even know I wanted this style, especially black. It's I, I have almost nothing black. I have a black TN. I stamped the hell out of it because it was black and boring and um, kind of destroyed by a failed sewing project. Let me show you. That's the TN. Uh, in an attempt to sew on a pocket, there was an issue uh, I think with the machine and it got misaligned and when the pocket was sewn on it was so crooked I couldn't even watch look at it and uh, I took the stitches out removed the pocket I actually love the little holes and the uh, remaining of the stitching holes that the TN has and I decided to stamp it uh, for anyone wondering, I use a uh, Versa Magic wheat color. It's not white, it's wheat. It looks white on the TN, but it's not as stark as, I don't know, stays on white. But I don't know how it will hold up. It, it seems okay. This is the back. 
it seems okay but i did not condition this leather and i did not keep it in my bag it's on my desk and uh, practically i handle it carefully so it's good but time will tell i, I can keep you updated so that's the story of the black and the only black thing i have uh, so this was quite a surprise. I was uh, attracted to it and uh, it's softer than I thought. I thought it's going to be uh, structured and um, stiff. But this is very soft and very smooth to the touch. And of course it will patina. This is just like, see the difference? It's a nude, nude, it's new. <laughs> new, new, nude. Oh my God. <laughs> My accent is not letting me uh, say what I want to say. And this is really, it's it's squishy. It's squishier than I thought it, thought it would be. So uh, I've been using this pens a lot lately. The other ones are also inked, but they are taking rest. Uh, these are the Cavecos, Caveco Sport. This is the dark olive one. This is the clear one. No. I don't know what it's called, clear crystal, I'm not sure, this is cappuccino. And regarding what I have inked, I think I remembered correctly, this is uh, Jay Herbin, it's, uh, uh, it's like a yellowish gold color, I can't pronounce it, I'm sorry. If anyone is wondering, I can leave in the comments below. Um, this one uh, I uh, put in the sailor haha -ha ink and in this one it's a shimmering ink from robert oster it's called rose gold antiqua i think i have that uh, ink in a very broad pen a pelican an old pelican pen and uh, the shimmer is amazing but this is an extra fine and it actually just look looks like a looks like this and looks like a pinkish beige color and it's fun to see uh, how different it looks when it's in a different pen and with a different nib. The same goes for this one. Uh, this is a Tweezby uh, Diamond 580. I don't know what it's called. It's a diamond. It's smoke and rose gold, something like that. And it's a wonderful pen and a very smooth writer. And there's also a Robert Oster ink inside. It's Velvet Clouds. And again, when I put this in a broad nib, you can get the shimmer, you can get the color variation. In here, it's just a very dark, dark purple when you write. And when it dries, it um, kind of mutes down and becomes like a muted flat purple something like that and this is the absolute favorite and the gem the sailor pro gear slim in um, this is dragon palace and it's inked with uh, the sailor studio ink 273 i think it's called and um, i had a sample i just got a whole bottle because i was running out this is like you know you have that one ride or die ink if i sh could have only one ink ever that would be the one and uh, let me try and find where something written, written with that okay not sure if you can see but this is this is that ink it's something it depends. It's something between pink and beige and even brown, depending on the flow and, of course, depending on the nib. See here? That's the same ink. It just, like, changes color depending on the flow, I guess. So, um, I really love that shade because it's, it's not too light. You can see it clearly, but it's not uh, overwhelming. It's not dark. I don't like very dark colors, like a stark black or blue or purple. I like more muted and like they are watered down. I think that's the best way to explain it. Watered down colors, yes. So that's what's currently inked and that's the pen case I'm using and the pens I'm writing with at the moment. And that's it. 
have to go. Bye.